everyone to What's Cooking at Our House. I'm Connie Hampton. And I'm Dottie Phelps and I'd like to once again welcome you to my home and especially to my kitchen. The best place in the house. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, spend, I spend more time here in the kitchen than I do anywhere else unless, unless it might be sleeping which is not very much. There but you go. Anyway, uh, we've got a fun recipe for you today. You know that we, uh, about a year ago we told you we were going to slip in an hors d'oeuvre. Right. From time to time. So what we're going to do today is we're, I'm going to show you how to make a dip. Sure. And I'll show you how to cut the vegetables. And there's so many different ways to cut vegetables. I mean, you can do real plain or you can sure. do real fancy. It's just whatever whatever uh, you want to do. Uh, and we are, vegetables right now are plentiful. Yes. Very plentiful. Yes. Uh, Bill and I were out of town the other day and ran across some beautiful peppers. Oh, they're gorgeous. And I couldn't believe it. It was his idea to get them. So we really enjoyed those. So we're going to use that today. And you talk about color. Yes. Uh, what a beautiful plate. But uh, Lots this of is going to be very simple, yes. but it's going to be delish. Absolutely. And simple is good because everybody's busy going all directions. Right. And your zucchini that we're going to be working on, it is humongous. Is it was 15 inches long. Oh, my God. And, and no, it didn't come out of my garden. I have I have one zucchini plant out there, and it has bloomed profusely. But so far, it hasn't produced any zucchini. So I think I'm about ready to pull it up and forget it for forget this it. year. Now, but, is bigger better? Well, you know, uh, Brenda Davidson is the one gave me this, and and when I saw it, she said, "Di, this is 15 inches long." Well, I just like to freak out. <laughs> really? And I thought, oh, that's going to be uh, soft, and and the seeds are going to be huge. Right. But I'm telling Looks you, good. they are not, and that is one of the best zucchinis I've ever mm -hmm. tasted. It's kind of got just enough of a sweet taste, mm -hmm. and what I do, I like to uh, I like to just slice it, and then. Uh, Sli take me a sl uh, slice off of there mm -hmm. and cut it in half and cut it in half again. Sprinkle some salt on it and eat it raw. <gasps> it's very good. Salt. Well, I use our kosher health. salt. Our I health use now. kosher salt and I don't <laughs> use very much. Okay. But, and I've got to have a little bit. So, yeah. I mean, you know, if I sure. can't have a little bit, then what, what's Salt. Yeah. Interesting. And uh, I've, I uh, saute them on the grill. Mm -hmm. I just take this. Cut them the same way. Okay. Put some onion in there. Toss them with olive oil. Mm -hmm. And see, that's Put what I do with grill. yellow squash, shouldn't I? And you could yeah, do it with that too. Yeah, you can do too. the same thing. My mother has been making zucchini bread. Yes. And oh, it's it's better usually the second day. Oh yes. Because uh, a lot of times, uh, and she and I were talking about this today actually, is right after it comes out of the oven, it, it, it's kind of dry mm -hmm. or it kind of tastes dry. That second day, after everything gets to meet and greet inside, yes. it is so moist. Well, I have a recipe for chocolate zucchini bread, mm. and I've had uh, several people tell me how delicious it is, and, and they've made it several times, and they uh -huh. love it. And the longer it sets, the if more moist. Any left, the more moist it gets. Yeah, that's and this it is, is absolutely wonderful, especially if you like chocolate. And you know, you can give that to if your you're children, American, and they'll never know that they're eating zucchini. That's true. Well, the zucchini bread, chocolate, or plain, you wouldn't know that it was no, zucchini. No, Banana nut bread, maybe. Yeah. Now, do you put nuts in your chocolate zucchini? Uh, you can. Okay. Uh, actually, it's been so long since I've made it. It's been a couple of years since I've made it. And you know how many recipes I've gone through yes, in the last couple of years. Yes, so, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Anyway, <laughs> but it's in the, uh, the recipe is in the uh, Methodist Women's Cookbook, mm -hmm. and uh, it is very good. So if you if you have that cookbook and you'd like to try it, you got lots of uh, zucchini squash, try it. I think you're really going to like it. And if you don't have one of those cookbooks, get a hold you of Dottie or Connie. Yeah. And we will get you we'll get the Mullen United Methodist Cookbook. Uh, we did that... Three years ago? Actually, I think it has been about three, three years ago. Three years and, ago. And uh, to get the good price, we had to order so many. Several. And we still mm -hmm. have a couple of boxes left. And it was a wonderful project for yes. our uh, United Methodist Women's yeah. uh, Society group. So, But today, off of the zucchini, let's move right on because okay. we've got a lot of other good we're veggies. Going, we're going to, uh, if you'll read off the ingredients, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and start putting it together. Okay, okay? Okay. The name of our recipe today is uh, Fresh Vegetable Dip, and we're going to be using two cups of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of chopped chives that have come out of Dottie's yard, uh, two teaspoons of fresh dill chopped, one teaspoon of celery salt, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, two cups of sour cream, 
two tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley, one teaspoon of seasoned salt, one teaspoon of chopped onion, and five drops of Tabasco. Yeah. Now how easy is that? I tell you what, and most of those things you have. Yeah, really. I, you know, I mean, I had to buy uh, some, what I have to buy? Parsley, I guess, the only thing I had to buy. I had everything else. And, and all you it's, do is mix all the ingredients, yeah, your chives are out of your that's gonna be. garden. That, those chives are, um, they're going to add a lot of color to it. And I just snipped them uh -huh. with some uh, kitchen scissors. Shears, mm -hmm. shears, scissor shears. Uh, recipe says in a medium bowl, combine all ingredients, mix well, refrigerate for a day before serving so the flavors will blend. And I've got a special group of people that are going to get to eat this tomorrow. Okay. We're having a uh, meeting at TRCC here at the Malden Center and they're going to love me forever. They really, uh, they really will. Come. Yeah. Refrigerate for a day before serving so the flavors will blend and serve with fresh vegetables such as celery, carrots, broccoli, radishes, or any vegetable of your choice. And, and we made our own choices and we're going to play. See, I need that parsley yes. in here. Yes. All right, let me chop that up real quick. That's the one thing I did not do because I wanted to use that to make our counter look pretty. Oh, yeah. But you did wash it, right? I did wash okay. it. Okay. I did, I did, I did. Chop this up and if you want. We just need uh, one, two tablespoons of parsley. Well. But if we want to add more, we're in charge. I, uh, I don't usually uh, follow the recipe. Well, I don't <laughs> usually measure on this. It, you know, I just kind of guess at it. Sure. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to put all those stems in there, though. Here, you can put your trash right there. Yeah. Got okay. a little trash receptacle there. I think probably. But good, you know, if you can fix this up a day ahead, you know, if you're having uh, weekend guests, oh, this yeah. is something you can do ahead of time, and it'll probably be even better the second day. Well, when it, when it sets the, for the next day, all those flavors will have oh, married, yeah. and, and uh, it's going to be very good. Okay. All right. All righty. That looks like two tablespoons to me. Oh, yeah. Very good, very good. All right. That's going to be pretty, pretty, yes, it pretty. Is. Well, pretty and then pretty. once we get our little frou frou on the side. Oh, yeah. We're really going to be looking good. Oh, that's going to be so yeah. pretty. We're going to, when we get ready to plate this up, we're going to put all these nice vegetables on a serving dish and. Okay, we're going to put this to the side. Yeah, and then we're going to start on these. these uh, now we're going to get to the pickles. Now we're going to play a little bit. And I, I a little got, creativity, maybe. Yeah, I got some cutters down there, yes. uh, Connie, that uh, I'm not real sure. I hadn't tried this, so I really don't know how it's going to work. But That's why we're here. I thought, now some these are like vegetables, I yeah. think. Yeah, here's like a. Um, this is a pepper. It depends, like I said, on how creative and, and how much time you mm -hmm. have. I might have cut that a little bit thick. Cute. Now, isn't that attractive? Cute, cute, cute. That is just, you can, and there's just so many uh, things you can do. And anyone, I, I think I've got that on the wrong got side. Got it on the sharp side. Yeah. Um, if you've got enough time, and just think how pretty that's going to be oh, on yeah. your on your plate. Look at that. Is that not attractive? I think that looks like too long. Uh, Is it too long? That's celery. No, I think it's going to be fine. Here's asparagus. Let's see. Yeah, that's going to be fine. And what you can do with this leftover, uh -huh. as you're cook as you're fixing this. You can use those for yourself if you want to test. Oh, now, look at that. That's that cute. cute. That's cute. Let's see what else we've got there. We've got asparagus. Let's try, let's try a couple of more. And those see how skinny skin ones. I'm not sure what that is. Here's an eggplant. Yeah. 
okay now I've cut that I cut that a, a, a little a, thinner a little thinner and that might be what you want to do hmm can we use well I'm afraid that's gonna puncture we it need I a, got um, here I got it I got it okay but see and of course they, they won't be able to tell what that is right. but it's kind of just plant. the nice the nice size right there. yeah I, I just think this is just cute, really cute, clever. cute. Yeah. Okay. Now your your biggest problem will be getting getting it out. It out. But that that is so cute. I think you've got room what for that one. Okay. It's oh. a lot more fun when you eat. Oh, differently. It, well, it 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 adds interest to your, and think, just think how pretty that's going to be on the plate. Okay, okay. now let me let me de demonstrate one more way of, c of cutting this. Okay. Uh, we can put that over there somewhere. I'll what I'm these. going to do, uh, I think, that's going to give it a different cut. Right. And just there you go. Like mm -hmm. And this is called? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I think it's called a uh, French fry cutter. French fry cutter. And then you can also uh, cut it lengthwise. lengthwise. And let me cut that end off of there. Actually, I think that needs to be a little bit shorter because you're want you you're going to want to dip this, and you're not going to want a whole lot of it. But like so. Mm -hmm. And this this is not this is not as tedious or uh, as time consuming as the other one is. So you might want to just put a few of the. Uh, these designs like this right. and then do do the rest of it like intermingle that. them together. Yeah. This look, is pretty look though. Look how pretty that is. Right. I mean, it, and, it, and you could cut it again to where they, it would be a little bit that is a big zucchini I'm telling you. It is you. a humongous yeah. zucchini. Okay. Let's cut That's easier else. for somebody to handle instead right. of a wide piece or something. Right. Let's, okay. let's cut something else. and You want to go to peppers? Yeah. Let's do some peppers. Now, I don't know if I will be able to do... Not much left, because well, I've already yeah. sliced them kind of thin when Let I was washing me, uh, them. But just the color that it's going to add to the plate. Going, yeah, this okay. is not going to do, I don't think, too Doesn't well. Doesn't like well, mine. Well, maybe a little, a little bit. Maybe if I did them this way. That skin is a little hard to cut through. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that that's going to work too good. Right. Yeah. But we just like to add the added color. Oh, yeah. Yep. In fact, I think I'm just going to go Slice ahead and... Slice them. Yeah, do them like this. There you go. Everything can't be fancy. We've got to do a little simple living well, here. Well, absolutely. But you were talking about the flavor of the zucchini, the flavor of the yellow and orange and red pepper. That's like eating cotton candy. Oh, I know. I just love them. And I, and of course, I like I like green pepper, and I I, I like I think things just like eating an apple. Right. But a lot of people can't do the green pepper, and I would well, encourage them to like. try these because I don't think they do the same. They have a to they your have tummy. a different taste. Yes, yeah. I think they're lots. They're just sweet. They're sweeter. They're, right. Yeah, especially they those those red ones are really they taste sweet. Great. Yes, That's all they I've do. got to say. So what else do we have to cut up? Got we some have a celery. Celery, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how fancy I can get with that. Okay. I should have brought, well, and you might have one. We'll talk about that later. Okay. We'll, we'll see what happens. Okay. Okie doke. Actually, I think probably. Uh, cut off the ends. Yeah, let's cut off the ends. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I use my, uh, my leaves. Right. Uh, like when I'm making dressing and stuff, I put the leaves in there also. Mm -hmm. So you can use those for something else. I think these probably I would just cut like down the center mm -hmm. one time if I can get that to do. 
that that's kind of stringy so and then just cut them I don't know if you can see this or not and then just cut them in like so mm -hmm. that's going to give them a little bit of an edge right I love celery mm -hmm. celery is good for you I'm not sure I'm going to be this is a little bit slimmer yeah these are going to be, these are going to be so good. Can't go wrong with celery. Mm -mm. I don't cut my finger. Just don't get it underneath that gadget, honey. Well, that'd be terrible. We don't have time to go to the hospital. No, we don't. And I guarantee you that do will cut, too. <laughs> While Dottie's chopping up, let me remind you, uh, if you're a first-time viewer, that we're more than happy to share, share, share any of our recipes. And if you'd like a copy of today's recipe, you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to What's Cooking at Our House, P.O. Box 712, Dexter, Missouri, 63841. Or if you want to go online, you can send us uh, an email request to recipes at yhctv.com and we'll email that recipe back to you. Uh, Miss Dottie and I have been at this uh, going on in February. It will be, five, what, five, five years, years in yes. February. Yes. So we've got quite an accumulation of recipes that we're loving to share. Carrots, another pretty color to go with our green zucchini and our green mm -hmm. celery. You know, we can do this two or three different ways. Okay. I, I, I have a, um, I have a something that would probably julienne these, mm -hmm. but I need to, I need to dig it out. Okay. So, we'll see. Okay. If I can find it. That that might be the deal to that do. That might be major. You know, I've got so many to try to find it right. Yeah. That's why I thought I had a gadget for the radishes, and I just could not find that. So, anyway, you can always just if you want to get real. I mean, real simple. Just just do them sure. like so. Just be sure you don't cut your finger. Uh -huh. And if you want to, we I can go over there and dig in my drawer and see if I. You want to try to go ahead and do that, okay. and I'll see if I can't find, find your that. other gadget. Yeah. Uh, like I said, that might be a major undertaking. Well, I put my money on you. I've got so many things I, I never know where where they all are. That's why we try not to buy any more because we can't find what we've got. Well, I, it, that's an impossibility <laughs> for me because when I see something different, I, I've got to have it. I want I want it. I don't I want need it. it. I don't and need I it. Want it I want it now. Dottie and I have a lot of fun cooking together. Sometimes uh, I get to cooking at home and I'm thinking, hmm, I need my partner here beside me. Yeah. Where is my partner? Okay. And have a hard time cooking when. What when have you, you got? You well, this is like this one. That looks make, like oh, you're gonna make curlies. So you make curlies? Well, perhaps I don't know. If I can get it turned right, perhaps I will. You know what? I buy these things and then, then I don't know if they're going to work or not. Yeah, here we go. Th now, this is not going to work for the dip. Right. right. This would work for a salad. Right. Yeah. For garnish. Yeah, or for even garnish. A, right. Yeah, that's what that would work for. Okay. So, all right. Now Let's, that we know what that gadget's for. Yeah. I tell you what we can do, though. We can cut some. Right. Like so. Whoops. Whoops. If we keep them on the table. I'm trying to catch them. I can't Here, get them turn it this way. There we go. Yeah. You're going to get my finger. Oh, I wouldn't want now to Now, that looks that. good. Yeah. And see, that's a different size. It's not long and skinny like everything else. Right. That will go good with our uh, shaped right. vegetables. Very good. Yeah, that's getting a little small, so probably what I need to do is do that a different way. I just, I, I, can, I love to play around with this stuff. There's just so many things you can mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. Okay. All okay, right. Now, is it, we, we have a cucumber have to go, and we, we have radishes to go. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's do. I tell you what. Let's do one more carrot. Okay. And I'll uh, I'll cut it. Okay. We're gonna... And we'll we'll do it small. Okay. And we might want to just take a uh, stop right there and. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get something to put all this on too. Okay. While we're 
while we do that. Our fresh vegetable dip is looking good, Miss Dottie. It looks good. Uh, we tried to do a little fancy, and you were talking about that you had seen some chefs yes. uh, work with the radishes and then put them in put ice water. Put them in ice water. That and causes open up. Them, yeah, that causes them to open up okay. into a nice little flower. But we, we actually, didn't have enough time. We didn't have enough time to, to do that. We should have had, I should have had some of those done up mm -hmm. and in ice water. Okay. And then they, they, they would have been real pretty. But isn't it colorful? Yeah, I'm going to rotate it here so they can see our reds, our greens, our yellows, our oranges. And that almost looks good enough to put a straw in. And no kidding. I think it's slurp it up. Good. Slurp it up. Don't, don't forget now, when you make this, uh, it needs to set. Uh, I think like 24 overnight. hours overnight. Yeah, yeah. At least you need you do need to let it set for a few hours so that all those flavors will uh, blend in there, and uh, then it's going to be so good. Right. Plus, you might choose some other vegetables that are oh, your yeah. favorites. They might use some yellow squash. They, sure. Uh, we had a cucumber, but we didn't have room for the cucumber. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of different variety of vegetables that they can use. A lot of different in. things. You a lot can of different use. colors. You could use broccoli. You could use cauliflower. cauliflower. Uh, just about any vegetable, uh, right. raw vegetable, would be good. Right. Uh, uh, those uh, sugar snap peas, you know, those mm -hmm. you don't have to cook those for them to be good. Right. Uh, and some people even green beans. Mm. So I mean, a lot of people been frying green beans lately. Yes. Yes. Stay away from the fried food, Miss Dottie. Good recipe. Uh, thank you for letting us come into oh, your home. My and we didn't make too big of a mess. No, this uh, was actually this was a real easy one. Right, uh, a wonderful summer dish. Yes. And you know this is something you could do the day before. Not only the dip, but you could do your vegetables the day before also, oh, yeah. and have them ready to go Absolutely. on your plate. Absolutely, and be real, real simple, real quick. Right. Uh, and and that that dip, you just dump all that together, and I mean that was how in easy no time. Is that? Right. Yeah. Thank you all for watching YHCTV, and I'm Connie Hampton saying goodbye until next time. And I'm Donnie Phelps. Bye now.